IGCSE Biology, Syllabus Statement 312, Understanding How Developing Embryo is Protected by the Amniotic Fluid. In the diagram, the placenta is shown here and the uterus wall is shown there. And of course, here we have the embryo, which is fairly advanced. And surrounding the rest of the embryo, inside this space here, so this is the uterus space, in this space is a fluid. And that fluid is called the amniotic fluid. Now one of the functions of the amniotic fluid is that it can protect the developing embryo. The protection of the developing embryo comes from the fact that the fluid which is largely water cannot be compressed and when we try to squeeze the fluid it absorbs the pressure so surrounding the developing embryo with a fluid means that any blows any force applied to the uterus wall the amniotic fluid will absorb this pressure and prevent damage to the unborn child. If you want to try and experience this effect of absorbing the pressure in a swimming pool, if you're standing in a swimming pool and you try to kick out in the swimming pool with your leg, you'll find that your leg doesn't move very quickly and it's actually very difficult to generate great force. This is an example of how the fluid absorbs the pressure. And so amniotic fluid absorbs any forces, any pressures, any blows to the outside wall of the uterus and protects the unborn child.